So yeah, my name is Christian Schettler. I work at the Norwegian Public Roads Administration. And uh, today we are demoing uh, the use case of uh, CITS messaging over cellular networks. Uh, we've been working with this for a long time, trying to achieve this in different parts of Europe, not just in the Nordics. And kind of finally now, the, the specification and, and uh, standards are in place to be able to do this in a, uh, in a standardized way that everyone can use not just uh, country-specific solutions or project-specific solutions, but one that we can all agree on. That's kind of what we're showing here. And we have two main uh, applications that we're showing off. One of them is uh, GPS-biased uh, road pricing, and the other one is uh, roadworks warning. There are kind of different uh, use cases that we want to show off. And today we are using this beautiful Polestar to uh, to ask the, like the platform for this this is a completely stock car no alterations to it the only difference from between this car and most cars on the road today is that it's running a more open platform it's running android automotive which means that you can deploy apps on them from an app store and then the app then communicates to our backend system as if we were a service provider like any other service provider or or an oem indeed um, and we are gathering then data that we are requested from this common system that we've now started deploying in Europe. Uh, so we basically ask for all the, the roadworks warning messages within, uh, within um, Portugal, and then the network then goes out and tries to figure out who has that data for you and delivers it to us, no matter who is generating that data. Then we start receiving CITS messages from the different data sources and check all the validity of the messages, same as you would do over short range, and then push it down to the car. So the next stage now, uh, and also one of the main points we're trying to push here is, now we have a platform that's working, we've agreed upon how to do this, finally. Uh, now we need different road operators and different actors in the ecosystem to commit. So we can make sure that the platforms live beyond the project periods. Uh, so we are at the MPRA are already committed to keep the, the underlying platform running, and we encourage all other road operators and all other actors in the ecosystem to do the same, just to kickstart the usage of this in real world applications. If you put yourself in the shoes of a service provider or an OEM, it's obvious that you don't want to invest a lot of resources into a platform that you are not sure whether or not will be there in a few years time. So it's paramount that we as a road authority, uh, which have um, we like a natural tie-in point for all of these different companies uh, that we commit to this first and put money on the table to keep the platforms running so that they can trust us in using this platform to build services in their vehicles.